Hi, my name is Michael Russer. I'm a prostate cancer survivor with full-blown impotence who's also dedicated to helping couples with ED get their intimate life back bigger and better than ever before. Now, recognize that fellow right there? I'd be surprised if you didn't because Sting is literally one of the top musical talents of our time. And he's also famous for something else I bet you didn't know, and that is his legendary marathon lovemaking sessions. Now, the reason I bring this up is that while my partner and I may not be rock stars, we do spend an average of two to four hours every time we're intimate. And that's with me being anything but rock hard. So the purpose of today's post is to share with you the secret of how we're able to do this every single time and how you can too, even in the face of full-blown ED. Now, the first distinction I wanna make is between traditional intercourse and the kind of intimacy that my partner and I enjoy all the time. By definition, traditional intercourse is an energy depleting process. By the time you're done, everybody's exhausted. And in addition to that, if the man tries to keep it hard for an extended period of time, like kind of, kind of times we're talking about, chances are he's gonna get hurt. So that's not a good thing. Now what we do is very different, and this is the secret I was telling you about. First of all, we don't look at the goal of climax. So it's not about a goal. We put ourselves in this, instead into a process, into a state of being where we're in the moment, not goal oriented. And other than to give each other full body loving and caressing and touching and whispering so that instead of depleting our energy, we end up having it generate more and more and more over time so that we can last as long as we want and in addition to having multiple orgasms. Now there's one other thing that's really kind of interesting and that is if I were functioning normally and others able to get hard we wouldn't be able to do this and that's because when a man gets hard there's that biological urge and imperative to use it for intercourse and once he's done he's done right so when you think about it that way, you and I have something that normal functioning people don't have, and that's the ability to experience exquisite intimacy over extended periods of time. And that's a good thing. Now, take a moment to give me your thoughts, your comments, and questions regarding the idea of making love for hours. And I promise I'll respond to you as promptly as possible. And in the meantime, why don't you go ahead and put out a couple of hours of staying and get yourselves in the mood, if you know what I mean. Until then, take care.